Sprout Social Tutorial for Beginners How to Use Sprout Social for Social Media Management Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm giving you a tutorial on Sprout Social. I'll show you how you can actually meet your social media needs using Sprout Social, how to schedule your post and publishing uh, very easily. So let's get into it. First of all, you're going to go to SproutSocial.com and you will land on this website right here. Um, it will allow you to get more productive and organized. So you have to actually create an account on Sprout Social. You can get a free trial. So you just have to click right here. And now you have to enter your email address and set up a password. Click on start free trial and you will be able to get your own dashboard. So after the initial sign up or sign into your Sprout Social, you will land right here. This is my dashboard and let me show you how we use it. First of all, you will actually create your dashboard or your workspace and you can give it any name. You can create more than one group or workspace on Sprout Social. You can see I have created this one right here and I can create another group as well. This will actually help me separate my team members and it will help me organize my work better. So I have created this workspace. Now we have this overview. We have this dashboard here. I'll be able to see the insights of my, uh, you know, different profiles that I've attached to Sprout Social. And then we have this option right here, which is the smart inbox. Then we have our task. We have feeds, publishing, listening, reports, people and reviews. At this side of the screen, I'll be able to find my new post or compose option. Then we have notifications, we have team conversations, we have shared links, we have connected profile, uh, invite a team member and, and search. So the first step on Sprout Social is connecting a platform. Click on connect a profile and this is where you will add your social media. So you can connect different platforms. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Google Analytics. Then we have others too. You can also search for a uh, social media here. Let's say I want to connect my Facebook. So I'm going to click on connect. And now I will select if I'm going to be connecting a page group or an ad manager. So I will be connecting a page. Click on go to Facebook. Now you will log into your uh, Facebook account, of course, and it will open up the pages that you have. You can see I have these three pages on my Facebook. So I'm going to select these and click on next. You can see I have already added these. Uh, that is why it shows like this. You're just going to select them and click on next. Now these profiles will be added to your Sprout Social. So this way I can connect my Instagram. I'll be able to connect my LinkedIn and other uh, profiles as well. Uh, so now once the profile is added, you can see I have three pages, three Facebook pages that I will be managing with Sprout Social. So uh, these are the profiles and I can connect another profile from here. Once the profile is connecting, we can actually get started uh, with inviting a team member as well. Let's say I have a social media manager. Hit invite member, enter their first name, last name, enter their email address and click on add. An invitation will be sent to them on their email. Now you can also select the profiles you want to give them access to. Let's say they only have access to this uh, profile here. So I will just, uh, you know, select this one, click on send invite and I'll be able to invite a team member. So now you have connected a profile, you have invited a team member, you can get to the publishing. Click on compose right here and it will allow me to create a new post. And we can actually post on several pages and several accounts from one, uh, you know, post here. So let's add our post. Let's say it's a welcome post and I'm just going to say the word welcome. And this is what it will look like. I can select the pages from here. You can see we have selected this one. Let's select the others as well. I'm going to post this on all of the pages that I selected. Now I can add the media too. We can upload any file or a video. Then we have publishing workflow. So you will select a workflow as well if you want to. For instance, first you have to upload on Facebook. Then you have to upload on Instagram. So something like that. You'll be able to create a workflow. Then we have the labels here. You will add a label. So this is actually an announcement. So I'm just going to hit the label announcement here and it will be added. Similarly, we have a when to post. So this is where I will schedule my post. If you want to post it immediately, that means it is not going to be a scheduled post and I'll be posting it right now. But we can schedule it for later. You can see auto schedule with Sprout Queue. So if you already have a queue, you have post in queue, then you will select this option or you can select a specific date and time. So I'm going to hit specific date and time. Select the date here. So I will be posting it on the 15th and then we can select the time as well. Let's say I want to post it at 5 p.m. So I'm going to select the time here. 
perfect so now this post is scheduled for my all of my different pages on facebook and i have actually added my data here i have selected the pages and this way i will just schedule the post and i have just selected facebook you can select multiple platforms from here so this is how we manage it now you know what i'm talking about i have a reel that i have to post on instagram i want to post the same video on youtube shorts i want to post the same video on youtube shorts so what i uh, on tiktok as well so what i can do is i can just add these profiles here upload the video and then schedule it so that it goes live on all of the platforms at once this is how sprout social works and it helps us get more managed and organized so once it's done i'm just going to click on schedule and it will be scheduled and after that we can of course go to the main dashboard and we can also go to the analytics of the post so once you're done with the publishing and the listing you will be able to check the reports here in reports i will get an idea the engagement that i got with the post so with sprout social we can not only schedule and publish uh, but it also gives us the opportunity to check the insights so we have a post performance here we have profile performance and tag performance like i'll be able to see how my post actually worked and what are the different factors that worked what were the tags that got the audience so we have competitive analysis as well i can add my competitors here and i can check if the same video for them got the better results than me and then i'll be able to manage it better so this is all about social media and to upgrade your social media game uh, here we have team conversation so this is pretty basic where i'll be able to communicate with my team and then we have shared links here uh, we have the search bar and then we also have a keyboard shortcuts available for our sprout social um, right here we have task so task is also another way to manage so task is another way to manage so here what i can do is i can create different tasks for for different team members i can assign tasks to team members and it will show me a list here uh, so how does it work you can just go here go to your smart inbox and you'll be able to actually uh, collaborate and coordinate with your team members and create different tasks that you can perform this way you will be able to actually get more productive and you will have a hub to work on so sprout social has a free trial available but it also has a pricing plan so let me show you so that you will have a better idea that how much you will be paying this is the pricing plan for Sprout Social. We have a standard plan for $249 per month. And then we have a professional for $399 per month. And then there is an advance for $499 per month. An enterprise, which is going to be custom pricing for custom features. So with the standard plan, which is just for uh, $249 per month, uh, we have five social profiles. We have all-in-one inbox. And then, of course, with the upgraded plans, you'll be able to get more features. So you can get the annual plans as well and, and this is the pricing plan no credit card required and you'll be able to get a 30-day free trial so yeah guys this brings us to the end i hope that i was a big help and now you know how to use sprout social for your social media management don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below turn on bell notification and subscribe to youtube channel